Hey guys, I was here bringing you another video. This could be the final episode of Gold to Platinum, we'll have to see. Uh, there will be an annotation on the video if you do want to skip Champion Select. But yeah, this is this could be it. This could be the game that ends the series. Um, we're in Promotion Series 2 Platinum, and we've won two games. Um, so yeah, we've got one more to win. So I'm bottom pick, unfortunately. I'm just going to say, prefer not bot lane, but can fill. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get this win in. Um, for those who are wondering what's going to happen after... The series is done when this account is platinum. We're going to be having a break from Smurf content. Not sure how long, maybe two, three weeks, not really sure. Uh, the only thing that we'll be doing is um, I will be doing episode zero of this series, much like I did episode zero, uh, episode zero <clears throat> for Unranked to Gold. And episode zero consists of basically things that I think went well, that I think people definitely could improve on, just some like closing out thoughts and then obviously when i have a little break after the break we will be definitely going into the platinum to diamond series as kind of the goal that i have in mind is obviously my main account is now diamond two my smurf is diamond five nearly diamond four and i want to get this to diamond i want three diamond accounts by the end of the uh, the season so we've got just over a month to do that i think or you know it's like a month and a half two months which i think we if we can easily do it uh, but what might happen in the Gold to Platinum series is obviously in these... I've I've grown or I've gone up in rating fairly quickly, but not compared to what I probably can do. Because I'm playing champions that I don't honestly really play. Where if I do Platinum to Diamond, it's a bit more serious. I'll be playing champions that I know how to play pretty well. Uh, so, you know, you'll see um, Nidalee a lot, you'll see uh, Rengar a lot more, you'll see probably Kha'Zix, you'll see Lulu, you'll see the champions that I personally play in Diamond 2, you know, that, that's what probably will happen. Um, so, we seem to have, okay, Nikali, um, so Nikali mid, that looks to be. The Enjoy Muk Giraffe is that, I probably, oh no, he's not an AD carry. Um, fake, fake two probably will go AD carry then I'd imagine. I'm probably going to be support. Let's face it, I'm bottom pick. Um, but I have carried from support before. I'm against Morgana. If well, probably Morgana. So it's annoying that I don't have certain support, some Brahms band. Or yeah, I really wish I had Nami right now, but I don't. Um, so I'll probably just end up playing Leona, probably, um, if I am support. Hopefully I'm not, hopefully I'm top. If I'm top, then maybe I can just go with something I can carry on, but who knows. I am playing a lot more Nah. I am actually really enjoying that champion. I think the buffs that were given to him are pretty good. I think he's a lot more solid than he was before. Um, still not, like... Like, I put him sixth in the tier list for a reason. I think he's going to make an impact on the scene. But, you know, he's not one of the top three. Um, so, yeah. Alright, there's the Kaz. So, they, the enemy team have actually got the makings of a pretty damn good comp right now. Which is a bit worrying. Um, but, yeah. If this enjoy McGiraffe has like looked up stats like in the champion select screen, that's a bit it's a bit weird, but oh well. Ugh Like a lot of people have also said to me in the past, it's like, oh has you're complaining that that person's playing in ranked when they have hardly any games played on that champion? Um, you know, how can they get games played if they don't play it? Uh yeah, that's true. Like I understand that point of view. Uh, but a lot of people, what you'll kind of find... Oh my god, I'm top lane, thank god. What, you're, what you'll find is um, people don't even play normals before they go into ranked on most champions. Like, if they have a low amount of champions played on in ranked, they probably just don't know how to play that champion. So yeah, that's kind of the reasoning behind that. So I want to carry the game. Amumu will go slightly tanky, but also he'll probably go AP. Gonna see what I'm gonna get. Oh... <sighs> God damn it, I really wanted to win my lane really badly just to carry the game. And then I'm against a Darius. It's like, nope, not gonna happen. Sorry, bud. It's like, really? Oh, it's a Lee Sin. Oh, okay. 
All right. So we're gonna just go what Riven. What is broken can be reforged. We're just gonna go Riven and just go all in and just try to win the game. We did a Riven Diamond game recently. Um. Yeah, we did a Riven Di Diamond game recently. That went fairly well. Um. So we're gonna do it this game, and this is I'm purely picking Riven, not based on team comp or anything. I'm purely picking on it simply to try and get fed. That is literally the reasoning behind the ribbon pick. Um, right, I need to make this, that, 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 that. Okay, that'll do. <coughs> it's a fairly early game, aggressive. It's, it doesn't have the AD scaling because you don't really need it on a lot of champions. Because, um, you know, Riven has enough damage and like it gives her other things. So nice. Right. Oh, oh. So this could be it guys. This this is the the moment of truth. Yeah, my room page is pretty bad, but oh well. So, welcome if you did choose to skip Champion Select. I'm against a Lee Sin in lane, um, and I'm playing Riven. Um, Riven's not known as like a proper counter to uh, Lee Sin, but she can do well against him. So here's a, a Lol Nexus to show you what we're against. Um, let me show you, you can sh see everything. Yep, okay, so you've got a Plat 2 Diana, you've got a Plat 2, Plat, two, uh, plat 3, Gold 3, GOQ with a Plat 2. And we've got a, a, a Plat 3 Lee Sin in his promotion series. And then we have a Plat 3 Plat 1. So we've I'm Gold 1 right now, and we're playing with Platinum 1. So I'm pretty much like a, a whole tier ahead in MMR. Uh, plat 2. Uh, never played Annie before, which is a bit worrying. Uh, plat 2. And a me as Gold 1 in one more win, and we get promoted. So we are currently on 28 wins, 8 losses. And that's in total for the account. So that is from unranked to where we are now, 28 wins, 8 losses. As I've kind of always said, this series probably could have gone a bit quicker, like them 8 losses probably could have turned into maybe 4 losses if I played more of my comfortable champions. Uh, but it's not a big deal, you know. I, the ratio of wins to losses is still pretty good in our favour, so I'm not complaining that much. Right, so I'm going to go pretty ham. So, yeah. So I'm not an expert on Riven. I kind of just have fun with it every now and then. Um, I'm like good enough to like play her in Diamond 2. But, you know, if I'm against someone that knows Riven a lot, they'll probably crush me. Like, you know, I know the, f I know the basics. Alright. As usual, put the ward there. They're going to wait in this bush. Lee Sin, um... Yeah, he can still be played in top lane. Like, he definitely can still be played in top lane. Just, yeah, his, he got nerfed quite... Oh, hello. Wait, did that miss? Oh, well, you're half-health. And he went Doran Shield. So he's an aggressive top laner. You're Lee Sin. You've gone Ignite. And you went Doran Shield. Like, I know you're probably a bit scared of getting first-blooded. But Lee Sin, you should just go all in. Like, Lee Sin will... Like, compare Lee Sin to Riven. Just in this lane... Uh, Riven will scale better than Lee Sin. I'm going to be more aggressive than him. I'm going to be doing more damage than him in team fights. Not really going to be more tanky than him because I'm not going to build tank. But I'm going to obviously get GA if things go well. Um, so, like, he needs to kill me in lane. He needs to beat me in lane. Otherwise, I'm just going to be more useful than him. That's how it works. But, yeah, he just took a lot of damage. Like, that was just my three combo. I think I even somehow missed one of them. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but we got him to half health, so at level 2, we have a good chance of killing him if we can get him to about half health before we ding, and then go all in with Ignite. Uh, we'll have to see if that's, that is the case, because everybody kind of, if you've watched the series, etc., you always kind of see me positioning myself kind of behind the opponent uh, when I'm about to hit level 2. I love cheesing level 2, uh, like first blood. That is one of my favourite things to do. So if I was this Lee Sim, I would probably take E first. And simply try and push the wave or Wow really? Wow really? Okay, he took a lot of minion damage, but so did I. Okay. 
Okay, I did not expect him to go all in then. I have to be careful because he has got the extra health from the the shield. So he's looking for a Q. I've still got Ignite. I have obviously burnt. I've burnt Flash. Got this lane. Right, I need to focus on CS a little bit more, right? First blood in bot lane. I kind of expected that. Like, I th was it the Annie that was complaining, like, that someone's only got two games played and then it turns out that she's played zero, I think? Um, but I'm just going to focus on CS because, again, uh, this game's not going well. Kha'Zix is there. So the thing, right, with Amumu, I'm not a big fan of Amumu because I pretty much think Amumu's in, like, the pool that you can just get bullied around in, pretty much. Um, so Kha'Zix is probably just going to look for this Amumu. Has he not got bandage? Uh, so Amumu is pretty useless right now. Oh my god, and he just runs in. Boom. So we get a kill, which is nice. And we actually get a blue buff. But, yeah. We've got a pretty useless jungler right now. And bot lane. Uh, so this is the game that if we win it, we can just get a promotion series. Like, we have, like, a lot of games to get into or get promoted. Like, I'm not worrying about not getting promoted, but... This lane is pretty close right now. Like, his early game is still strong. I'm going to go back. Oh, wait, do I need to? Yeah, he just hit five, but if he goes for a Q. Like, I want him to Q me, and then I can stun him under tower. Come on, hit me. Hit me. How? No, I'm asking you to hit me. See, I'd like to kill him at level 6, but he's going to be higher level. Like, he's got more XP than me because I went down for that roam. So, I think he'd hit 6 first, and then he'd just simply roundhouse kick me in the face, and then I'd simply die. Uh, but that's fine. Yeah, and he's also got Ignite up because, obviously, he used Ignite first. So, my Ignite's nearly up, so his I think Ignite would definitely be up. But, yeah, this game isn't going great so far. Like, 16 CSC... Uh, Twitch compared to 40 on Jinx. Jinx is 102 and he's 01 and he's not actually getting any CS. I think the Annie is pretty much useless though. Like she's already 02. She's like not offering him anything. Um, which I think is a big problem. But... So I knew he was basing in there. Just stop it. Delay him coming into lane. Gives me more time to push the, the wave <clears throat> into tower and hopefully to like make him lose some stuff. Right, when I'm level 6, he's level 6. It'll be pretty close who wins, but I think I will come out on top. Just, uh, my early trading was really bad. I don't know why. The problem with me and Riven, I enjoy playing her, but I would never call myself a Riven player. And Riven is one of them champions that you really, and I mean really benefit from um, playing a lot. So, yeah. God, bot lane is so far behind. 
He's got a long sword. She's got a BF sword. <laughs> right, what did Lee Sin do? He bought... Okay, he's got a Bruder. So he actually is an item above me right now. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go back and buy. So I'm just going to try and snowball my lane. That's all I can do. Like, a lot of people get frustrated. It's like, oh, bot lane's sucking. But there's no point get. Oh, she's dead. Nice block by Annie. There's nothing I can do in bot lane. So why get frustrated? Like, that's my opinion about it. Okay, Diana roamed as well. Okay, Annie picked up a kill. Twitch picked up a kill. That's good. That's good. So, like, any strength they can get, like, he should just back. Like, I don't know why he's staying around. Like, just go back and buy. Because if Morgana manages to pick up that kill, it's like... Ugh. So Kazakhs just did blue buff. Twitch is staying around. Okay. So, yeah, I pretty much think I can farm this Lee Sin now. Uh, when I have ultimate up, I can just keep killing him over and over and over again. Just how the lane works. Like, Lee Sin's early game is still really, 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 really strong. He does a lot of damage in the early game. The problem with Lee Sin is that he scales terribly. So, like, there's one combo, right? And he's, like, half health. Or less than half health. And I didn't even have ultimate. If I had ultimate, he's dead. 100%. So, Moo is coming top lane. So, he wants me to push it. That's fine. No, Kali's dead in mid. That was a really nice play. That was a really nice kick. But that's his flash gone, so it's fine. You don't need to help me top help bot. What the hell? Some people's attitude in this game like really just stinks. It's like, obviously, the, I'll stand by the statement, a jungler is not there to win your lane for you. A jungler is there to help you win the lane. If he chooses that, you know, not to gank that lane, fine. But it's definitely worth a gank this bot lane. So, oh, that was a nice rocket. I don't know why these guys are trying to fight. What? Lane. Just farm. Not fight. I don't know why they're trying to fight. No, that's just a bit silly. To me, that's... Like, you have to remember, like, I'm obviously, this is a series go to platinum. But as shown in the champ, uh, the LOL Nexus screen, this is, like, mid-high platinum. So, this, you know, it, it shouldn't really be like this people should probably know how to play the game a little bit better uh of any role really you know i'm saying you know if you're a mid lane main or whatever you should have some knowledge of every single role but it seems maybe these people they maybe they don't main these roles or whatever right nice kill nice shutdown gold for akali i'm gonna ping missing because obviously lee is missing they got dragon that's a bummer but whatever if Leeson comes now we can kill him Damn, I didn't get the last hit. Whatever. Again, like, all I can do is just farm myself and just try and carry the game. Like, I have no idea where Lee Sin has even gone. That would be a really nice kill if they managed to get that. If one of them goes down for it, though, that's not good. Auto. Nice. Well, at least in my be AFK. Haven't seen Lee in ages. That Jinx rocket. Like, these rockets have been really on point. He might be AFK. Um, these, yeah, her rockets have really been on point in this game. If Lee goes AFK, it's kind of sucky because we probably wouldn't deserve to win this game. But it would be like a, a blessing 
Uh, in disguise, I guess. Nah. Just... Thing is that they're kind of forgetting is I'm a Riven and I'm actually pretty damn strong right now. And, he, like, what does Riven do? Riven skill uh, kills squishies. That's my job as a Riven. So no matter how fed this Jinx get, hopefully I can just kill her. That's the plan. Um, which, yeah. Like, I'm the highest CS in the game, which my CS early was terrible. There's definitely going to be comments in the comment section about that one. Um, so there's Kha'Zix. How you doing? Yeah, Lee is definitely AFK. So if... Alright, on my team, all they have to do now is focus bot lane. Kill bot lane over and over and over and over again. That's what they have to do. So she's around here. I'm going to simply... No. Right, I got... Damn, they got my shutdown gold. Right, I can kill... Like, I can kill anyone. They got thingy. Yeah. <sighs> I can kill Jinx late game. Anyway. Just farm up. Like, oh, good. Like, what's she doing? Are you all Riven Smurfs? I'm a Smurf, but don't mind Riven. Uh, like, normally I don't tell people I'm a Smurf, but whatever. Ooh, that's going to be Morgana ult, yeah. She's dead. Uh, they, they just need to be together. No, uh, I don't know why why he would have used that heal, honestly. Camp bot. Like, I'm just going to push top lane and get Kha'Zix to stay here or whatever. Moomoo should be bot lane 24-7. Like, just stay in that lane. Like, you can tell that they're not the greatest players because obviously they've been feeding a lot. So, help them. You know, they're, they're the one thing right now that could cost us the game. So if you help that, then we're golden. Now, I'm going to wait in this bush just to kind of see where people kind of show up. They could potentially pick up, boom, a Moomoo ult. Nice, nice. So Kha'Zix is here. Wow, they actually turned it. I don't think... Okay, I'm going to go for it. <gasps> 30 health! Are you kidding? 30 health car. Oh my god. Right, that is a really weird Diana build too. 30 health. Yeah, I'm kind of sad Like for the enemy team. If they do end up losing this, then I all I have to say is I apologise for them. Because they deserve to win this. They've got a fed. They've outplayed pretty much every lane. Um, well, most in most cases. Um... Because, you know, especially bot lane. Like, if the bot lane lose, that'll be really sad. Because they've been playing it really, really, really well. Obviously, I played top. Eh, at the start. Like, I made a few mistakes. I could have got a kill when I played it quite badly. Um, but, yeah. Then we translated it into an okay lane phase. Um, but, yeah. If I was this Moomoo, right? I'd probably just donate red buff to me and just say, Riven, just go split push. But, that was just me. Right, I have that on the wrong button. Right, what my team are doing now is probably perfect of what people like need to do when there's an AFK is just group early. You've got the number advantage, use the number advantage. Um, so like they're pushing mid lane, they just basically just not need to get caught and then that's fine. But they seem to be fighting, which I think is a mistake. Um, I'm going to make my way there because if Jinx comes then I can potentially kill her. Oh boy. Right, I come in. Right, yeah. Bye bye. Like, that's gonna happen every single team fight, so. 
that's what a Riven does. And I feel a bit scumbag about this, like... Eh. I will, one thing I'll say about this Smurf is that we've just seemed to be a bit lucky uh, on this account. You know, we've managed to turn several games. Um, we've managed to turn several games that probably normally wouldn't have been turned. Um... Oh, that's done. Okay, 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 okay. Get out, get out, get out. Uh, overstay and die. Like, she can probably 2v1. No, 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 no. no. Alright. Uh, top lane, go back. Alright, cool. But yeah, that Jinx Flash has gone as well. So, like, she just got wrecked. Oh, that could actually go badly. If Annie got there in time, that would have been an okay Twitch. But, yeah. You're not strong enough, Twitch. Like, if he was equal in strength, that's fine. But he's way behind. Um... Like, all bot lane should be doing is farming, and then when help comes, then go for kills. They shouldn't look for kills by themselves. I think Akali went down to try and kill Kha'Zix, but I think he got away with ultimate. But yeah, I don't know why this Lisa... Like, I'll ask them later in the game. Like, I normally try and not ask people, like, oh, is that person AFK? Because that can just get them in a bad mood. It's like, I don't really want to bring it up for them. Holy hell, she's tanky. Uh-oh. Uh, I even missed the, the wall. Right, that my little distraction there managed to get mid-turret. That's kind of good. Yeah, holy, why is she so tanky? She's got... Oh my god, she rushed Riley. What? Who does that? You're an assassin. You're a burst assassin. And you rush... Like a, a tanky API item. That's weird. So again, Jinx is mid. So yeah, this is pretty much just the unequal numbers coming into play. That I'm pushing top lane all the time. Now bot lane is pushing bot lane. They can't be everywhere. They've, they've only got four people. Like They don't have Lee Sin to stop me. Um, which yeah, is, is annoying. Um, when I win these type of games, you don't feel great afterwards. Like, you know. And when you lose these games, you feel... Like, oh, you're so, like, that's when... A lot of people say, oh, yeah, I don't rage. No, I don't rage, but the mo the time that I get frustrated the most is when I lose because someone probably has afk or something. So I can still kill this Diana. Alright, we pick up that kill, barely. Like, she is so tanky. Kind of waiting on a jink... Oh, uh, GG, so there we go. Kind of sucks, but that's the series, guys. Uh, so we're going to be promoted to Platinum. I'll stay on the screen. Um, yeah, I'll report the Lee, because, you know, what can you do? But anyway, that has been the Gold to Platinum series. Last game on Riven. I can't really say it was a good game, because, yeah, whatever. And there we go. So Platinum, 5, and that is it. So episode 0 of this series will be coming soon. And I'll be going through all mistakes that I saw and what people actually did well and all that. So anyway, thanks for watching the series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, and that's it. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So goodbye.